welcome. Today is November 2nd, 2020, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels in the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and burn some Palo Santo so I can clear the energies before I get today's reading started. I hope everyone is doing well for today and I hope that you had a fabulous weekend. It's November, guys, and so uh, if uh, you paid attention to the community feed, I had posted a poll for the collective to see what type of reading that you guys would enjoy for today, and um, the reading is uh, for a November forecast, so uh, today I'll be channeling uh, what uh, the month has in store for Twin Flames for the month of November, okay? So... I hope you all are doing well, and I hope you really enjoy this channeling. Okay, so again, uh, before I begin the channeling, I wanted to announce uh, the winner of the giveaway for um, the Halloween um, contest okay so if you participated in the trick-or-treat uh, free reading giveaway uh, and for those of you who had actually contributed uh, to the channel I have placed your name into this jar okay so uh, I'm gonna give it a little uh, mix okay and I'm gonna shake it up a little bit <laughs> and pick a winner so Spirit, please uh, guide me to the person who is the most deserving of this beautiful gift box I have prepared for one lucky subscriber. <laughs> I have Deb Chats. So Debbie, honey, I don't know if you can see because there's a glare. Debbie, if you're watching this video, you are the winner, honey. So Debbie, uh, if Debbie does not come forward uh, and claim her prize by tomorrow, then I will pick a new winner, okay? So Debbie, congratulations, and also you get a free Twin Flame Quickie. So congratulations uh, to Debbie, and uh, what Debbie will receive is this beautiful gift box, okay? Uh, and I have prepared uh, two large bath bombs. I forget which two I, I placed in here, um, but there's two large bath bombs, um, a peppermint bath salt, okay, for you to enjoy, uh, a lovely lay. And also, guys, okay, this is uh, the limited edition bath bomb that I have made on Halloween. And um, this particular bath bomb was made for those who uh, had purchased um, a moon crystal from me um, prior to last week. So, um, so this was the, the extra. Now, somebody had uh, purchased the uh, remaining crystals so um, I had to swap out the large bath bomb okay guys <laughs> I know right so this is the bath bomb okay that I have made uh, that goes with the lovely moon crystal and uh, this week guys okay so uh, stay tuned I will do a pumpkin spice latte bath bomb all right I know I'm a little delayed, but I want it to be a little bit more festive and I'm gonna start off with the pumpkin spice latte It's gonna be a foamy uh, fizzy bath 
Um, so I'm so excited to create that for you. So um, just stay tuned and um, I'll let you know when it's available in my um, my website. So this is the large uh, bath bomb and this one is a regular size. And uh, if you're wondering, um, my normal uh, bath bomb size is um, this size right here. This is the large. So you can imagine how much bigger this one is. So for those of you who have purchased a crystal uh, from me uh, for the limited edition full moon uh, amethyst crescent moon uh, crystal, you get one of these bad boys, okay? So if you purchase a crystal, please let me know what your bathing experience is with this one because it's filled with glitter guys it has um pink and blue uh glitter in this particular one and you probably can't see because the light is is really bad it's, it's putting a severe uh glare on this but let me know i'm so excited for you to receive it so let's see is there any other announcements Um, so like in the coming week guys, okay, um, I might post a couple, uh, extra polls. I'm not exactly sure, but you know, I want to, uh, you know, bring to you, uh, some, some different content to the channel, not just do daily readings every day, which I'm pretty sure you guys are used to, but I really feel like, you know, um, you know, I should be offering a somewhat a, of a different, um, video for you guys to enjoy. So, um, you know, be on the lookout and if you haven't voted, go ahead and vote, um, even uh, after watching this video because I'm very curious to know what types of videos that you guys uh, would like to see on this channel okay so you can go ahead and comment down below on this particular video or go back to the community feed uh, where you saw the poll and comment um, there also so with that being said let's go ahead and get started so first up, let's see, where uh, are the masculines and feminines at right now? So in the month of November, where are the divine masculines and divine feminines at? And as you notice, guys, okay, I change uh, the setup here, um, you know, and I would also like to know what you guys think of this view, okay? let me know I mean I can always go back and forth so if you can see my face and I can pull out the cards but I was very curious uh, to know if you guys enjoyed uh, this view also okay so let's see so for masculines I see here participation and I really feel like there is uh, some sort of balance that the masculines uh, is wanting to bring to the table in the month of November I really feel like this is uh, having to do with stability it has also uh, something to do with um, well, how do I say this um, you know, uh, like uh, playing the masculine role from what I can feel. And I really feel like, uh, you know, this month masculine is going to be working more on themselves. That's the feeling that I'm getting. So with the feminines, I see here. Completion. So I feel that, you know, feminines, they have reached a sense of completion. Uh, perhaps some of these feminines are using their third eye chakra from what I can see to put all the pieces of the puzzle together so that they can see the bigger picture as to where they're at in their twin flame journey. So I feel like also masculine is in the business of participating um, in the connection with the feminine. So let's go ahead and see. What is uh, the potential or the challenges that the masculines and feminines have for this month? What is the potential or the challenges coming towards the masculine and the divine or feminine for this month? Let's see here. Um, is that 
that too dark, guys? Okay, I think that's good. What is all the potential or the challenges for divine masculine and divine feminine? For masculines, I see here a chameleon. And with the feminines, we have purity. So I feel like for feminines, you have uh, reached a completion of being pure when it comes to yourself. And also in the connection with your masculine. I feel like feminines, you see the bigger picture here. Uh, possibly you're opening up yourself towards spirit. And you kind of know like where you stand. You know, either in the, the 5D or in the 3D. And for the masculines, I feel like, you know, they're camouflaging themselves possibly changing uh, in regards to whatever environment that they're currently placed in and that's how this masculine is participating um, in whatever physical uh, 3d circumstance that they're they're uh, currently dealing with you know in uh, Tibetan Buddhism uh, this is a dorje and what I'm getting is that this is the lightning bolt and also uh, represents the masculine energy and I see that uh, everything here is coming together uh, in regards to the different chakras. I see here the root, the heart, the throat, and the solar plexus chakra. And a uh, masculine is trying to find uh, that balance so that they can uh, participate in whatever uh, situation that they're in. And that's what I'm seeing. So let's see what else. Oh my god. Sorry guys. That's my friend. <laughs> I hardly speak to her. She lives in Florida. It's my uh, child childhood friend. So let's go ahead and see. What is uh, the focus of this divine masculine in the month of November? What is uh, the masculine going to be focusing on in the month of November? And what is the feminine's focus for this month? Please bear it. You know, for masculines, I feel like they need to follow their dreams. So it's really important for the masculines to really open up their heart and go after their uh, heart's desire. I feel like, you know, masculine is wanting to uh, participate in this change to not really uh, be superficial, but really come in with their full transparency. I feel like masculines, they have a hard time of being transparent is what I, I'm feeling and it's about this masculine stability so another thing that i'm picking up on is that uh masculines they need to work on a changing okay changing and whatever circumstance that they're they're uh, dealing with so that they can bring balance within themselves and also uh on the outside so this is not only on external circumstances but also on their internal is what i'm feeling and with the feminines we have your personal growth but it's in reverse so feminines for the month of november you need to work on your personal growth now um i did see that um in the poll and uh, there was a few of you who had mentioned that um, we have here um, Anna Maria Brad Brady. You have such a wonderful intuition. I would love to see a reading into the energies of those who have moved on or have detached. How are these collectives uh, spiritually in separation and in detachment? And what is the energy through all of this work where does the journey stand now now that's an excellent question and i really feel like feminines uh you have reached a sense of completion uh i feel like towards yourself and you know that you have this sense of purity you have cleansed yourself you're ready uh, to purge is what i'm feeling and um there is still something that you need to work on and i feel like this is your higher self so even though that you're in the awareness of your higher 
myself, um, there's uh, still more to be learned is what I'm feeling because um, I feel that the focus uh, should be on your spiritual growth, uh, your personal growth towards self and not really so much with your masculine because right now your masculine is still uh, playing this very superficial role of masking themselves and um, they're really focused on their 3D uh, circumstance. You know, what are they going to participate in their physical world is what I'm feeling. And this masculine needs to be more spiritual and really uh, be in the energy or vibration of really uh, working on opening up their heart and changing. Feminines, I feel like you're already there. So uh, that's an excellent uh, question, Anna. And that could be a reading that I could do for tomorrow. I also see here um, random stuff. I love listening to you and resonate with your messages a lot but aren't we supposed to detach from our twin flames and love ourselves constant tarot readings about twins doesn't help the detaching process it enables us to stay attached could you do a past life money and career absolutely uh random stuff and you know and i'll, I'll switch it up okay so uh that is another reading that um i could do later on in the week and so um that's a, another excellent uh topic to kind of go over and um in regard to that random stuff I really feel like, you know, this is a part of the personal growth and um, and I'm actually seeing this in uh, the month of November for the Feminine Collective. So Feminines, I definitely see that you voiced your opinions, that you want to learn and you want to work on your personal growth. You feel that you have reached a sense of completion, opening up your third eye towards what is. And, you know, masculines are still, you know, playing, um, you know, a facade. Okay, not really opening up towards the connection as of yet. There's still a work in progress. In the meantime, I really feel like feminines, you want to, you know, do more for you. And that's really beautiful. And also I see her, uh, Bema of self how to evolve your divine and or karmic cycle so these are excellent questions uh, for the divine feminines and these are absolutely uh, some of the things that I feel that um, that is in regards to your personal growth so that's really beautiful and it really confirms that feminines um, you have really completed this cycle of really purifying yourself and, and preparing yourself for the next level. And that's a really beautiful energy. So let's go ahead and see. What is uh, going on in your past? So now that we see what's to come in the month of November... What has happened in the past, in the past month or in the recent past? What was the energy uh, surrounding the divine masculine and divine feminine collective? What was the energy surrounding this divine masculine and divine feminine of your past? What was going on in the recent past, divine masculines and feminines? For masculines, I see here love. So masculine, I see that, you know, there's something that's tugging on this masculine's heartstring when I can feel. Obviously, it's a due to a third party situation and they're looking deeper into the heart. Also, I'm feeling that this masculine's heart is, uh, is hollow. It feels empty. Masculines, uh, I feel like in the past month, they haven't been following their dreams. And this month, they're, they're feeling called to fill the heart with this beautiful pink Merkaba, okay, to follow their dreams and their heart. So now, masculines are ready to participate in their 3D to change. And that's what I'm seeing, guys. Wow. So I feel like in the recent past, masculines have reached a sense of completion when it comes to love. Maybe this masculine realizes that they need to uh, get out of a situation that they feel stuck in. And mind you guys, uh, Mercury goes direct this week. So I feel like in the past month, masculines have been reflecting on their love connections or relationships of their past karma situations and also with their divine feminine 
friends and they're coming to realize why are they feeling this way and I really feel like my Wednesday they know it's because they didn't really follow their intuition or their inner guidance when it comes to their true heart's desire that's what I'm seeing and with the feminines we have here loyalty. So this is really beautiful, guys. You know, I really feel like with the feminine uh, collective, you know, you have a sense of loyalty when it comes to working on the connection with your masculine. Not only that, I feel like it, this is with your uh, connection with your uh, yourself. So you, since you have evolved, you're now wondering what is your next steps masculines they're not really ready to come forward towards you maybe some of them are from what i can see but they're still feeling a little empty and they're still trying to find themselves you know that that's what i'm feeling and so in the meanwhile feminines you are stevie ray over here right and i feel like it, the focus is more on yourself Okay, in the recent past, you know that you've been loyal to you and you're looking for the sense of loyalty from your masculine. And masculines, they're, they're feeling called or they're trying to answer that question. Are they following their dreams when it comes to themselves and towards uh, their feminine? That's what I'm seeing. So feminines, you know, you've come to uh, this realization that you've been loyal all along. And that's what I'm seeing. So that's a really beautiful energy for the feminine collective. So let's go ahead and see what is the strength of this masculine and feminine. What are your strengths? What are the strengths surrounding this divine masculine and divine feminine? So I see that you know, it's a work in progress for the month of November. So where are your strengths at for this month? For masculines, we have here nine of Ariel, and for the feminines, we have four of Raphael. Very interesting. So, for the masculines, um, I see that their strength is, you know, becoming independent. I feel like if this masculine was uh, stuck in a situation, their dreams are fulfilled. And get this, guys, follow your dreams. And there's a lot of pink energy, so I feel like masculines are finally like following their heart in the month of November, guys. That's a really beautiful energy. And their hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. So masculines, I feel that they're going for it. And they're going through this change and transformation with uh, this chameleon and spirit guys and that's really beautiful i feel also that this masculine is uh wanting to uh approach uh the love uh, connection of themselves and also towards their feminine i feel like masculines now they're wanting to participate and really find balance within themselves by becoming sovereign and really truly working on their independence and that's really a, a beautiful energy that's coming through for the masculines now for the feminines uh, I see here the Four of Raphael, which is the Four of Cups. So, feminines, you know, you are trying to seek out other possibilities. You're trying to look for the magic in life, and you're aware of your own emotions. So, feminines, you need to be mindful of how you're feeling. I feel, feminines, that you are actually not in um, union with your divine counterpart, and you're feeling displaced. You're feeling uh, sad and alone, and you're trying to find a sense of belonging, uh, from what I can feel. I see that you're trying to balance out your emotions, trying to stabilize yourself. And that's why I feel like feminines, you're reflecting on you or you need to really work on your personal uh, growth. From I can see, especially you know, when it comes to your spiritual uh, uh, spirituality over here. So who are you loyal to? So feminines, I feel like, you know, your strength is that you know you need to be loyal to yourself. 
and really be open to what's to come. I really feel like this masculine is working on their independence so that they can uh, bridge the gap and uh, come forward towards you, feminine. So feminines, you know, while you're busy over here working on your personal growth, I definitely see that the masculines um, are uh, trying to uh, make their way uh, and come forward towards you because where this water is uh, is a rainbow okay so you're not seeing uh, that the masculine is actually going through this change and transformation and uh, going through this participation to follow their dreams and coming forward towards you that is what I'm seeing so I also am getting that you know this is a divine uh, love or a divine connection you have really uh, purged yourself from negative energies by working on your self-feminine. So honestly, I feel like when you're seeking out this other possibility, I honestly don't feel like it's seeking out another individual. I really feel like it's seeking as something out more for yourself. You know, until you have reached, you know, a level where you have truly worked on yourself, then perhaps, you know, looking, you know, outside of your masculine would be an option. But I really feel like you should be uh, more focused on you. Follow your, your intuition or your guidance, inner guidance is what I'm also feeling. And um, that's what I'm seeing, you know, as far as like what is your strength for this month, feminine. So let's go ahead and see what is out to come in the near future for this masculine and feminine collective. What is to come for this a divine masculine and a divine feminine? What is to come, please, Spirit? So in the month of November, what is to come for this divine masculine and divine feminine? For masculines, I see here Coyote Spirit trust in divine detours wow guys i can't make this stuff up so i really feel like you know masculine is being guided to take a detour uh on their path you know i really feel like they need to follow their dreams i feel like if this masculine was going in a different direction now is the time to uh follow their dreams because uh, it's going to lead to success is what I'm feeling. This masculine's heart is feeling empty and I really feel like it's time for this masculine to really follow their heart and not with their mind and really um, you know, trust in a uh, universe for this guidance. I feel for whatever new beginning in regards to love and I feel like this is a spiritual love connection that is uh, what I'm getting here and for the feminine we have here snake spirit it's a time to heal you know and I had that feeling you know instead of like you know looking for other possibilities outside of yourself feminines I feel like you're feeling defeated and you're not feeling happy with yourself so instead of trying to find this happiness outside it's time to really work on your personal growth and you want to complete yourself that is what i'm feeling you want to uh, have a sense of completion of self before you can uh, have a completion with either your masculine or you know with a new person that is what i'm getting and so you're learning to be more loyal to you from what i can see and it's a time to shed uh, this old uh, version of you so that a new version of you can uh, grow and evolve. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of change here for the feminine collective. From what I can see, I see here a lot of double digits. Okay, uh, 33 and 55. We have four and seven. Okay, which equals an 11, right? And I also see here a four and a five so masculines they're they're in this uh energy of change also but they need to work on this change is what i'm seeing so that's a really beautiful energy that is coming through for this collective so let me go ahead and pull some tarot and i'll find out what is a, this suggested uh, approach 
for the masculines. How should they approach uh, the feminines for the month of November? And what does uh, the masculine need to know? What are their hopes and fears? And what is uh, the, the potential outcome between you two? What is as uh, a suggestion that spirit wants the masculines to know? What is being suggested? What is it that they need to know? What is their hopes and fears? And what is the potential outcome? Thank you. So overall, what I'm seeing here for the masculines is it's a family situation for the month of November. Uh, I feel like masculines, they need to follow their dreams and uh, break free from either this uh, family situation that they're currently in so that they can become sovereign or independent. That is their strength for this month. And they need to trust in this divine detour in regards to love. Right now, uh, I feel like uh, they're changing or evolving uh, you know, trying to blend in from what I can see. And it's about this masculine's participation either in this uh, family situation or becoming single, okay? That is what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing for this masculine uh, is this page of pentacles. So I feel like it's suggested that this masculine uh, really needs to work on uh, you know, giving an offer towards a feminine. This is like a small form of communication. It doesn't have to be a grand gesture. It should be just like a, a little check-in to say, hey, feminine, you know, I'm here. I could be working on uh, my family situation, but I just want to let you know that I'm still thinking of you, okay? So what does uh, the masculine need to know? They need to know that they need to get out of their head. I feel like this masculine overthinks and they stress too much about, you know, where they should be. And I really feel like it's this uh, chameleon uh, spirit that I'm seeing here, you know, with the two fives. Also with the four, you know, with this, uh, this um, participation in regards to the masculine stability, I really feel like uh, masculines... Um, it really stresses them out, to be honest, is what I'm feeling here. Because masculines, they need to uh, really follow their dreams in regards to love. But it's this idea of being sovereign, okay? Uh, and trusting the divine to lead them in, in the right direction. And I feel like uh, masculines, they have a hard time of accepting this. Is what I'm feeling. So masculines need to know that they need to get out of their head. They're having, um, you know, they're uh, having like a, a mental conflict. Is what I'm feeling about like where they should be. You know, who should they go to? I mean, is it the the karmic or is it the feminine? That's what masculines are faced uh, from what I can see. Now, what are their hopes and fears? The hope for this masculine is at this, um, this star. This is really beautiful, guys. You know, it's also a fear. You know, are they, uh, are they hoping for this beautiful connection? Will it ever come into fruition? You know, something that they ever dreamed of. Their, their dreams will it ever come into a reality. In regards to their love, is what I'm seeing and. You know, masculines, you know, they need to uh, participate in order to manifest, you know, the situation. And they're being uh, guided to this divine detour, is what I'm saying, in regards to something long term. Okay, is it the family or are they going to break free and come forward towards their feminine? This is, uh, you know, the strength for the masculine for this month. They have uh, the ability to do this, but, you know, this masculine needs to know that, you know, they overthink or they're in their minds uh, way too much. And that's what's causing them to have this fear of approaching the feminine to uh, communicate at least a small offer. 
So what is at the future potential outcome? Wow. I see here the Queen of Cups. So I definitely see that this masculine is really opening up emotionally to their divine feminine. I feel like also if this masculine isn't really uh, communicating with the feminine, at least in the smallest bit in the physical with a small message or a small form of communication, it's definitely uh, dealing with telepathy. So I really feel like uh, this masculine is wanting to express their feelings possibly at the end of the month of November towards their divine feminine or at least uh, you know they're really feeling uh, the feminine energy from what I can see so that's really beautiful guys wow so let me go ahead and see what is uh, the feminine's energy so feminines what is uh, your suggested approach towards your masculine what is your guidance and what do you need to know? What are your hopes and fears in the connection? And what is your potential future or outcome? What is uh, the feminine's energy? Please stay. Thank you. So feminines, what I'm seeing here is the nine of pentacles, but it's in reverse. So feminines, uh, you're still feeling a little bit of attachment uh, towards either the connection with your masculine, you know, that that's what I'm feeling, you know, because I do see here the strength is, you know, you do have the potential uh, to get out of this energy, um, to look for the magic in your life, but you have to be aware of your emotions and it's a time to heal. And I feel like it's a time to heal this, um, this attachment that you have, uh, towards, you know, either your masculine or towards, you know, uh, a physical situation from what I can feel. So let's go ahead and see. So for feminines, what I'm seeing here is the four of swords in reverse. In reverse. So I feel like feminines, um, you should actually take the time out and heal. Again, you know, for the feminines, for this month, you need to heal and really uh, leave your old self uh, or your old way of being behind. There's still some healing work that needs to be done for the feminines. And I see that you're purging, really clearing with this a purity card. So if you haven't already, guys, okay, take a salt bath. <laughs> I have plenty of bath bombs for you guys to enjoy take a look on my website okay so uh and also guys you know if you haven't already i have this uh, bath salt okay um this one smells divine this is a divine goddess bath salt so guys you know you need to heal really take uh, care of yourself nurture yourself Okay, this is a part of your personal growth, from what I can see, and um, you need to be more true to you. That's what I'm getting, okay? So, what is it that, um, and you know, this, even though that you're not with your masculine and the physical, that's, that's fine. You should be more focused on yourself for this month, feminines. That is what I'm getting. So, what is it that you need to know? You need to know that either you need to get out of a relationship with a karmic or a soulmate or your masculine is actually getting out of a relationship with a karmic or a soulmate okay you know take it as it resonates but i see that you need to know that either you or your masculine needs to get out of a, a past a situation or a relationship before you can truly move forward because in the perfect world okay or in the 3d reality of the world that we live in it's not okay to shack up with your person if they're in a marriage situation. So I really feel like someone here is either getting out of a relationship or a family situationship or, you know, or something that they've attached themselves to. That is what I'm seeing. So what are your hopes and fears about uh, this breakup or, you know, this divorce or whatever this commitment is? 
Your uh, hopes and fears, feminines, is is your masculine going to come in quickly and communicate to you? Are they going to come in and cut you off? You have no idea. That's why, feminines, you need to heal because whatever uh, uh, answer that you're receiving from your masculine, it could be hurtful, you know. But you know, feminines, I see that masculines, you know, they're they're hoping. They're hoping uh, that they can get out of their head and come forward towards you and offer you love. That is what I'm seeing. And feminines, what I'm seeing here is that uh, you need to know that, you know, this is actually being worked on right now, from what I can see. And I, I feel that, you know, you have a fear that maybe your masculine will not communicate uh, with you this month because um, you're, you're uh, feeling all alone from I can see, you know, even if you've given your love towards your masculine, I feel like it wasn't being reciprocated, okay? That's the feeling I'm getting, so you need to heal feminines. That's what I'm seeing. And finally, what is the future potential outcome? Oh my God, it's San Francisco. So what I'm seeing here, hold on. So what I'm seeing here is the Six of Wands in reverse. So what I'm seeing here and the future potential outcome is that feminines, you're going to feel, uh, you're going to feel like you've lost. There's no victory. Um, that's why you're feeling hurt. You know, I feel like masculines, uh, they potentially are not able to make uh, any kind of movement. The, uh, the energy is here, They're, you know, the masculine is thinking of the feminine, but is the masculine doing anything about it? Because I feel like uh, there's a, a family or a long-term uh, commitment that the masculine is dealing with uh, for this month, and feminines, you're feeling all alone. So for, for the month of November, I feel like masculines um, are still kind of stuck in this energy, but they're definitely thinking of you, and you're definitely on this masculine's mind. That is what I'm seeing, guys. Wow. So let's go ahead and take a look and see. What are additional messages that the masculine would like to say towards the feminine? So, let me, like, let's see here. Actually, let me just go ahead and pull some surrender cards. So, for this month, what does the masculine collective need to surrender to, please, spirit? And what does the feminine need to surrender to? What is it that they need to release to kind of help heal their personal circumstance so that they can get through for the month of November? Please, Spirit. So, masculines, they need to surrender to what is. Uh, didn't we have that energy from the other day? flow with what is instead of fighting it exactly i really feel like masculine is fighting this divine connection and they need to trust in a divine detours they're being called from spirit to move forward towards their feminine because i really see that this masculine has uh the opportunity to break free from uh this uh, situation that they've invested into so that they can come forward towards the feminine Okay, feminines, you know, you're over here, you're sitting here all alone, you're feeling lonely, and I see that, you know, uh, an angel is over here, and I feel like it's Archangel Raphael, is uh, here to help protect you, and they do love you, feminine, okay, so you're being protected, and masculine is seeing their way to come forward towards their feminine, that is what I'm seeing. Wow, that's really beautiful. When you can change a situation compassionately, accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So if Masculine's, um, you know, uh, is, uh, you know, resisting the flow of what is, I feel like, you know, they have the opportunity to change this. It is what it is, right? If the Masculine feels like, you know, they're a chameleon, like, you know, just uh, blending in with whatever uh, situation that they're in. Not really a uh, changing, but I can feel. It is what it is, right? And this masculine has the capacity to do it, and I see it. And I see that this masculine, um, their hope and desire 
or their fear is to really come towards you feminine can the masculine do it you know we'll see i feel like it you know it's a 50 50 for this masculine collective some masculines will and some won't that's what i'm saying and with you feminine surrender comparisons with other people here we go so feminines you know this is especially for you if your masculine is with another person or with another situation and you feel lack and you're trying to figure out you know why is the masculine not with me am i not beautiful enough am i not handsome you know am i not everything what the masculine wants yes you are the the reason why this masculine is all holding back is because they're they're this chameleon guys i kid you not they're, they're they're trying to blend in with whatever situationship they're in and they're not following their their divine guidance because they're being detoured to see if they're going to come forward towards you and they their dreams right they need to follow their dreams is what i'm seeing you know feminines you need to work on your personal growth you need to surrender your comparison with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself and focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. Do you, boo-boo? That's what I always say. You know that you're very pure. You're a divine feminine. And you need to complete yourself, not your masculine. You know, I, I know it's hard. But, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm very appreciative for the ones who had commented that you're very interested and, um doing an upgrade feminines okay with your personal growth for yourself okay not so much focusing on your masculine so kudos to you okay because i feel like you are loyal to you you're also loyal towards your masculine whenever the masculine is ready to come forward and they do have the chance to do it but are they going to do it this month it's to be continued i see that you know in their heart of hearts the feelings are, are, are awakening. They're evolving. They know with their intuition that this is a, a beautiful connection. They're feeling you. But can this masculine, you know, uh, come forward? I see that this masculine is holding back because they have obligation and duties this month. Okay, I'm not going to lie. You know, so masculines, they're going to be holding back their energy. And look at this. Do you see the similarities of this uh, coyote or this wolf spirit? Don't they look the same, guys? I kid you not, man. I can't make this shit up. Doesn't it look the same? Look. It's the same dang dog, two different ducks. Like, come on. So, you know, masculines, they need to trust that if you're being like a, a, like a, in the masculine's vision or in their head or in their thoughts, it's time to really reflect, you know, what is their dream? Are they following their dreams? Or are they going to sit back and do this 5D uh, tel telepathic communication with their feminines? Okay, that's what I'm saying. And so far, guys, you know, they're holding back. That's what I'm seeing. And for feminines, okay? You know, you're feeling defeated over here. So you need to meditate. <laughs> you need to heal. And you need to be uh, more devoted towards yourself, towards your higher learning. Okay, also your spiritual growth, your personal growth. Look at this. This this is so, like, ironic and very clear. Okay, feminines, perhaps some of you, uh, you're not really uh, connecting with spirit. For this month, you need to connect with your higher self and really do more meditation. That's what I'm feeling, okay? Uh, you know, be true to yourself and not really a physical union with your masculine because I don't see this masculine coming, okay? I mean, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, you know? Um, there could be a quick little check-in, okay? I mean, th this is a general reading, so it, it may not, you know, be for everyone, but you know, you know, collectively, what I'm seeing here is that masculine is still going through some change and they're still going through some growing pains, right? They're still learning and they need to surrender to what is, from what I can see, and uh, be a participant in this twin flame journey. You know, it takes two, not one. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing, guys. So let me go ahead and close out this reading with a guidance message and see what is the guidance that this collective needs to know 
for the month of November. What is uh, the guidance message? Please do. And guys, if you enjoy this uh, monthly video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And uh, you can post your comments and thoughts down below. Uh, if you feel like this video was helpful to you, let me know. All right. So, Spirit, please reveal to me a uh, the perfect guidance message to sum up the whole energies of this masculine and feminine collective energy. Thank you. Wow, we have here tender embrace this is beautiful guys we have here a number 22 okay so i'm gonna go ahead and uh see what this one says compassion warm-hearted care for others and self-care sensitivity and empathy benevolence and kindness wow i feel like this is especially for feminines this is especially what you need to do put your hand over your heart and breathe deeply inhaling a sense of gratitude now how do you feel keep doing this turning in to the world around you others you know and those uh, that you don't know can you feel compassion for them? Compassion is an emotion of tenderness and sensitivity. It's a feeling of benevolence and reverence as you stand witness to the suffering of the world. Now is the time to reduce that pain and focus on compassion in all areas of your life. Today, do something deliberately kind for another. Even looking uh, a stranger in the eye and smiling can make a world of difference. The questions to ask now are, where do I need to be kinder and gentler? How can I serve and in what capacity can I be in alignment with the solution to the suffering of the world? Could it be that you need to be more compassionate towards yourself? If you spend all your time in service to others, it's easy to forget about your own needs. Wow. You know, guys, I feel like this is for masculine and feminines. For masculines, I feel like this masculine is in service towards what? This family. Okay? They are so giving toward this family. They do anything for this family. They overgive. They want to be a provider. They they want to, you know, be that person uh, you know, that takes uh, really good care of this uh, family dynamic or a group uh, situation from I can see. And what is the feminine doing? They're over here all along. Okay, and they're trying to seek out whatever possibilities. And I feel like feminines, you need to um, be kinder and gentler to yourself. You know, I feel like for you, you are serving your masculine. And you know, you're... Uh, you need to surrender your comparisons with other people for what I can feel because right now you are not with your masculine and guess where your masculine is they're with this family okay uh, so I don't see that this masculine is giving towards their feminine because I see here the king of pentacles in reverse masculines are holding back their energy and they're giving towards this family over here this is where they're giving towards okay and I feel like feminines even though that this masculine um, is not really giving towards you, this masculine does love you and they do find you in their heart, in their mind. So even though that they're not expressing this to you in the physical sense, they're feeling you on, on emotionally, okay, in emotional sense, you know. They're being, uh, you know, guided by the divine to change so whether or not this masculine really comes forward i feel like you know generally you know i don't see it happening but energetically this masculine is an awareness of what this connection is towards you but it's a matter of time for this masculine to really come uh, into awareness of how they really feel towards you feminine and feminines you know i see that you know you need to accept yourself and you can bring more loving energy towards others. If you're feeling like this, feminines, you need to heal, okay? You need to heal yourself. 
Is it time to shed your old skin from what I can feel? Okay. Today, make a commitment to practice self-compassion. Release yourself from the burdens of perfectionism. Allow yourself the grace to be human and then do the same for others. It's not your job to tell others how to express themselves, even if you don't like the way the world behaves. Exactly. You know, I really feel like, you know, you have a sense of purity and I know feminines, uh, you want to help save the world. I get it, you know. Instead of uh, really completing other people and being overgiving towards other people, you need to complete yourself. So put more focus on yourself this month. Okay, feminines, that is what I'm seeing. Because right now, I feel like you're giving more towards other people or you feel like you have a sense of duty or obligation to uh, give your pentacles out towards other people. That's what I'm seeing. You know, just because you know the answers doesn't mean that other people should uh, enforce whatever you feel is the right thing to do. It's also another thing um, that I'm feeling feminines, okay? Uh, and also, this is your uh, energy towards your masculine. If you feel like, you know, your masculine needs to, you know, get out of the situation, it's really up to this masculine. They're, they're, they're getting uh, uh, downloads from universe. Whether or not they, they accept it or not, they have free will, is what I'm getting. Today, be kind for no reason at all and watch miracles arise. So it's time to watch the miracles, you know, be an acceptance of what? What is, right? Masculine, you know, surrender to what is, you know, and this is for masculines to really open up their eyes if they want to participate in um, this uh, beautiful connection with you, feminine. And I see that this masculine is resistant, okay, because they're still stuck in this 3D paradigm, from what I can feel, not really opening up but towards a spiritual connection, because this is leading to a spiritual connection with you, feminine. This is actually going to lead this masculine to rainbows and butterflies, okay? If this masculine jumps and comes forward towards you, they're going to feel of bliss. Their dreams are fulfilled. Their hard work leads to success. Are they following their dreams? I guess that's a December uh, reading, right? <laughs> so that's what I have, guys. That's what I have in store for this month. I hope it resonated or it made sense. Let me know um, if it was helpful for you. And thank you again for watching. And if you guys uh, want to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpionmoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a, a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.